well surgeon dr mirgani is there and here i am going to mark the incisions for the breast abscess so basically i have written in the side this is the right breast and uh, this is the axilla i have made and now i am going to mark all the incisions for the breast abscess so first incision that's the radial incision and this is your nipple this is areola and this is the nipple areola complex it starts from the areola and it extends towards the periphery so this is the radial incision then you have got the circum areolar incision it is also known as the webster incision okay so it will be the curvy linear but it will be at the edge of the nipple areola complex and next incision that's the circumferential incision or it is also known as the curvy linear incision or the gillard uh, thomas incision so it is also the like curvy linear incision but it is away from the nipple areola complex so this is the circumferential or the curvy linear incision then we have got the infra mammary incision so this is the infra mammary fold here at that point so this will be at the infra mammary fold but its shape will be the curvy linear and finally at the last uh, this is the transverse incision it will be transverse but it will be curvy linear uh, somehow in the middle so this is the uh, you can say that transverse incision so i will mark just uh, numbers so first incision that was radial and i will mark with this this is the radial incision then we have the circum areolar incision this one then we have got the circumferential curvy linear or the gillard thomas incision that's it then we have got the infra mammary incision in the infra mammary fold and at the last uh, we have got the fifth incision that's the transverse incision so thank you so much hope you have learned something from this video If you like our content if you learned something from our videos then do subscribe by clicking on the red button below so thank you so much